Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. This baby's flying days are over, just like mine. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. Great, now help me find that key. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? Sorry. I'll see what I can do. Right. She looks busy. Later, hopefully. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. Sorry, the meeting's already started. I know. Let me in. Mr. Ripperger's giving his keynote address. No interruptions. But I'm a shareholder. Yeah, right. Jerk. fund. What you see before you right now is my vision for Corny Motors. Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some 
major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. I can see all over the company from here. It's locked on that easel. This is where you put the cards for the big screen video projector. Now this is multimedia. <laughs> now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Tate from one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where'd he hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That is great, Ben. We're finally where we were meant to be all along.